Hello friends, we're covering new stuff in Maya 2018. We've covered the three icons here already in previous uh, sessions. Now we get to this one here and uh, it's called Circulize. What it does is uh, if we create a cube for example, I press F to get close to it, uh, we change the resolution of the cube a little bit like this. If I want to get a sharp, uh, I have sharp corners, eight, eight of course, in a cube. If I want to get this one flat here, I could um, right mouse click, uh, select the vertices, select a few of them and then start rotating and scaling maybe and moving to get such a thing here. The problem is that uh, that's a lot of work to get a, a, an, an even structure here poking out instead of just one single edge. And that's what this command is ideal for. So let's create a new scene. And uh, right mouse click here on the super shape, we create a super ellipse. And uh, the super ellipse has a resolution here of 16. You find it in the Su uh, poly super shape one. Uh, just make this lower like eight for this purpose here. And down here you have the super ellipse um, V exponent. That's the only thing you can change really except for the mirroring. Uh, the mirroring is quite nice actually. And um, let's get close to the to that sphere and change the exponent now like we did in the last tutorial. Okay, that's where we're getting to. Now um, press space and hover the mouse over the top view. Press space again and this makes this window really big. And then press F and this will be really big. So, so that's uh, our view from the top. Right mouse click, vertex. And now let's select whatever you do. You can do it differently. Let's select just the corners maybe similar on each corner like so does that make sense yeah sort of um, spacebar spacebar and you're back here now you see I've selected four of the corners and now you'll be surprised what's happening when I invoke this command just ordinary click and we have this we have instead of um, pokes we have flat corners and uh, that's what the circularize command does and um, here you have the um, if you hover with the mouse over the normal offset for example you get a re left right arrow arrow and uh, you can change the distance where it pokes out with the radial offset you can enlarge the outer part and here you have uh, several other uh, parameters to adjust. By the way, uh, this tiny icon here is new in Maya 2, in Maya 2008, and currently it shows a little, a tiny blue um, segment, which means when I move the mouse here, I make tiny adjustments. If you watch the numbers here, it's uh, 0 0.045, when I move the mouse, it's going to 5.3, 5.6, etc. When I change this uh, to maybe one third, it goes much faster. You know, with a little mouse movement, much faster. When this is all blue, it's so fast uh, you uh, change the parameters pretty dramatically. Yeah, that's all I wanted to show you here. Um, it makes uh, a wonderful way to model sharp edges into round structures. You can apply it in any kind of polygon surface structure. Like here we could do a circle here, but it's most prominent of course in sharp corners. Enjoy!